You ever been pulled over by a police officer and wondered to yourself, what are my rights? Do I have to get out of the car? Do I have to give them my ID? Are they allowed to search my car? I'm about to give you all the answers to those questions in this video when I talk about what your rights are during a motor vehicle stop in New Jersey. Hi, my name is Daniel M. Rosenberg. I'm a criminal defense attorney and the founding partner of Rosenberg Perry & Associates. It is also my personal goal and passion to provide information and education about the criminal justice system before people become involved and entrenched in the system. And one of the questions I am constantly asked is, when I am pulled over by law enforcement, what are my rights? What do I have to do? Well, here are five things that you absolutely should know about what your rights are when you're pulled over by law enforcement in New Jersey. So, first thing you should know is the reasons why law enforcement can stop you. And in New Jersey, the legal standard is reasonable, articulable suspicion that there was a traffic offense, a criminal offense, or a crime that has occurred. So if a law enforcement officer observes a traffic violation, they can stop you. If they have reasonable, articulable suspicion to believe that a traffic offense occurred, they can stop you. The same goes for offenses in New Jersey and crimes in New Jersey, or the layman's term is misdemeanors and felonies. In addition, there's two other circumstances that I wanted to highlight. One being, if you're operating your motor vehicle, a law enforcement officer in New Jersey is allowed to run your tag for no reason whatsoever. And if that search comes back with some sort of infraction, a suspended license, a suspended registration, they're allowed to initiate a motor vehicle stop at that vehicle. And that's a question we get asked a lot because they are allowed to randomly search your license plate, which seems a little strange. The other circumstance I wanted to highlight is driving under the influence or DUI. If there is an anonymous phone call that has some level of corroboration, such as a license plate number or a partial license plate number, law enforcement officers can stop your vehicle based on that anonymous phone call. So now that you know the reasons why you can be pulled over in the state of New Jersey, let's talk about what the law requires of you once you are pulled over. So in New Jersey, you are required to provide your driver's license, proof of registration, and proof of insurance. If you do not have a driver's license, you must identify yourself. Beyond that, you are not required to provide any other information. Where are you going? Don't have to answer that. Where are you coming from? You don't have to answer that. And candidly, those are questions that you probably shouldn't answer. And one of the reasons you may not want to answer those questions is because it may provide additional information to law enforcement that will further an investigation into you. So now that you know what is required if you want you're pulled over, another thing you need to know is whether or not law enforcement can ask you to step out of the vehicle. And the short answer is absolutely. In New Jersey, the law allows law enforcement officers to ask you out of the vehicle at their discretion. If it's an illegal stop, if you think they're asking you out of the car for some nefarious reason, you are not allowed not to comply. You must comply and grieve later. So the short version is they ask you out of the car, you must comply. So now that you know you can be asked out of the car, the next question that I commonly get is, are police allowed to search my car? And the short answer is maybe. There's two circumstances where law enforcement can search your motor vehicle during a motor vehicle stop. The first is if you provide consent. We'll talk about that in a moment. The second is if there is probable cause to believe that there is evidence of a crime or offense inside your vehicle. Now the United States and New Jersey constitutions allow us to live free from warrantless searches and seizures. What that means is if there's going to be a search of your person or property, law enforcement must get a warrant unless there is an exception to that warrant requirement. And the exception that allows them to search your vehicle without a warrant is called the automobile exception. You must be aware of that because if there is probable cause, they can search your vehicle without your consent. If there isn't probable cause, then you have to provide consent. So that brings me to the fifth point that you need to know. And a question that I commonly get asked is, do I have to provide consent for law enforcement to search my car? No, no, you absolutely don't. And in all likelihood, you probably shouldn't. Regardless of whether you have anything in your car, you are giving up a right by signing off and allowing them to search your vehicle. So here's what you need to know about consenting to a search of your motor vehicle. Number one, it must be knowing and voluntary. In order for it to be knowing, law enforcement needs to explain to you exactly what your rights are, which are you do not have to consent to your vehicle being searched. If you do consent, you can revoke that consent at any time. All of this needs to be presented to you and then you need to sign a document. So this consent must be in writing. So that's what the law requires in the state of New Jersey for law enforcement to get consent to search your motor vehicle. I am hopeful that this video was helpful in educating you on what your rights are in the state of New Jersey if you're being pulled over by law enforcement. 
Now this area of law, which is referred to as search and seizure law, is very nuanced and very, very fact specific. And we can't explain all those nuances in a short video, but these highlight probably the most significant things that you should be aware of if you're being pulled over. So if you, a friend or family member, has been involved in a motor vehicle stop, whether it's a routine traffic stop or something affiliated with a more significant crime, contact our office. We're happy to help in any way that we can. We can set up a time for a consultation. We'll take the time we need to give you the information you need to make an educated and informed decision. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if there's a topic you'd like to learn more about, please leave a comment below or contact our office. I'd love to hear from you. We are criminal trial attorneys. We have your back. That's what we do.